Here is the rise. Comes, looks like mostly assembly set. Let's find out. There we have it. The dropper post is a little shorter than I wanted, but well, I can swap it out. Let's see how the rest of the build. This is the M10, this is the second build. Had to step up from the Fox 34 to the 36 and get the X2. So it's like a glossy kind of seafoam green and then matte darker green here. Which actually looks pretty good. I don't really love the color actually, but. Yeah, no, it's cool. Oh, it's all I could find. Cool. I guess all the other bits come in this box. And it's sort of, it sounds like it's loose in here. It's all in Spanish. What's in here then? Um, okay, a reflector. I don't know what that is, but I'm assuming it's for the brakes. Okay, oh, okay, that's spacer. Another reflector. Look, we can put these on the wheels. They oh, they've got a sag tool. That's kind of... nah, I don't know what that is. A whole big fat manual. A power cord. Oh, another reflector. And I'm assuming the charger's in here. That would be correct. It's a big brick with special connector. Otherwise, this thing is just a 36 volt. This looks like the old cheesy things that used to come with Chinese electric bikes. 42 volts, 2 amps. Listen to the rear hub. I like the black on black. Nobody likes these tires. It is recon in the back and a dissector up front. The only pedals we have. Charging port is simple. Just press this button, it's spring loaded. This connector goes in. Light turns red there, it's charging. To turn this thing on, because it just hold this button. It is now blue. Green, it's on. Nothing's going on. One button up. And I think that's eco. It is bluish. One more. It's green. Whatever that is. And it's very hard to see. One more button up. It's kind of red. I think that's max power. Uphill with no hair. Wow, so cool. No hands. <laughs> <laughs> Jump it again. Oh, you're gonna do that? Lovely, a rating of 2.6. So miserable. <laughs> oh wow, oh wow. Can we go up a downhill trail? So I'm coming over the bike with a 64 degree head angle. And longer. And haven't missed it. Wow. What do you think, Nella? Or Bartek too. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. Which mode do I want for crossing this? I would say away? slow and calm so you can. <laughs> E-bike or not, it still needs to be pushed. Well, it's actually not that bad pushing an uphill. I mean, it ain't light, but. Roll your wrists.
Uh, that's all you're gonna get. <laughs> but it got chunky and like started being unhappy, the motor that is. Pretty awesome so far. Uh, one last thing to do, and that's to carry it. Chest. I have to say one thing, the motor is definitely rattling and it's definitely noticeable. I noticed people in forums saying, hey, you don't notice it, or some people saying it's really annoying. I'd say it's more towards the annoying end, but I don't know, that's me. The rest of the bike is so quiet. That's partly the reason.